Nothing will save you more time on social media than pre-scheduling your posts. By the end of this video, you'll know how to schedule Instagram posts from your smartphone so they'll automatically go up whenever you want them to. What's up, busy people? Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media. If you have been struggling with your social media, feeling frustrated because you're putting out more effort than you're getting back, you're in a great place. Every week we release another helpful video to help you with a different piece of your social media marketing strategy. If that sounds like something you can use, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell, and that way you'll be notified each week when another helpful video is released. My name is Jerry Potter, and on this channel, part of the theme is to save you time on your social media, and nothing will save you more time than pre-scheduling your posts in a big batch. Now, one thing I want you to know before we start, I'm adding hand gestures, so you notice this is important. You can only pre-schedule your posts and have them automatically go up if you have an Instagram business profile. It also comes with some analytics and some other cool tools. So if you'd like to switch, it only takes seconds. I've got a tutorial on how to do that in the description of this video, but you do have to have a business profile before you can pre-schedule your posts. Scheduling posts that automatically go up on Instagram does require using third-party software. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in a couple of different pieces of software today. And I chose these ones because they have free versions that are good for both Android and iOS devices. The first app I'm gonna show you is called Buffer and it looks like this. So find that for your phone in your respective app store, either the App Store or Google Play. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And if you don't have a Buffer account, obviously you'll have to create a Buffer account. This is the free version I'm showing you. And then of course, connect it to your Instagram business profile, all explained within the app. So next I wanna compose an update. So I tap that button there in the middle. And you can choose, some people like to add their photo or video first, then write the caption, other people are the other way around. I'm gonna go ahead and add a photo. So I've pulled this photo in from my camera roll and you'll notice this morning it says, will be sent to you as a reminder. That means that it won't automatically post, which is obviously what I'm going for here, and it's because of the image size. It's too tall, because it was a portrait image that I took for my phone. So if I tap on that, it'll warn me, hey, you can't post something automatically this way. We'll send you a notification, send the picture to your phone, and then you can, of course, post it later yourself. I don't want that. So I'm gonna come down here to the bottom corner and click Edit Image. And then within here, I can crop it. So I'm gonna tap these little boxes here, and I know four to five is the tall ratio that Instagram will accept. You can also, of course, do square or any of these other ones, but four to five will be accepted. So that crops it down for me. And then I can move my image to exactly where I want it to crop. Hit done. And now you'll notice that warning is gone. It will automatically post. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put my caption in. Below that, you can add another photo or video. Just know that it won't auto post. You'll have to manually post it when they send you a notification if you use that feature. Then below that, you can add a location. Strongly recommend this in most situations because a lot of people browse locations. So if you, if nothing else, just put your city in there and you'll probably get more eyeballs on your post. Now, if it's a location that's tied into something that might be good for your business, that's even better, but we'll at least do that. Now below that, it allows you to include the first comment in the post. So a lot of people like to include the hashtags in the first comment of the post instead of in the actual caption, because it's a little cleaner looking. Now in the free version of Buffer, you can't do that. Watch when I tap on that, it says, oh, this is only available with some paid plans. But that's there if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan. I see my image is there, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. And then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna hit share. And it's gonna say, do you wanna share it now? Which I certainly could, although I might as well just do that in the Instagram app, right? Or I can share next. Buffer will actually keep a queue of your posts. And so if you're using Buffer that way, it'll just go into the next slot that you've selected. And with share next, it'll go to the top of your queue. Add to queue here at the bottom would be to just add it to the bottom of your queue. But what I'm gonna do is say schedule post, go ahead and choose a date, a time, for some reason, I always like to choose like weird times, like 10.09 instead of just 10 o'clock. And then I hit schedule. Takes a second, and there it is, ready to go. If at any time I wanted to come in and edit it, I can tap the three dots here, edit the post, share it immediately, change the time, delete it, all kinds of app options there. So that's how you would schedule a post to go up automatically in Buffer. I wanna show you one alternative to Buffer, and that's an app called Later. Also has a great free version for Android and iPhone, so that's what it looks like in the App Store. Go ahead and open it. 
you need to create an account or in later you can actually connect with your Instagram account directly. So it doesn't have to be a separate account. One of the things that later offers is it'll let you keep a library of photos to create things. So as you take a picture that you liked, you could then add it to your later library and then turn it into a post when you were ready. So from this screen, I'm gonna go ahead and tap the plus sign down here at the bottom get a photo from my camera roll. So it adds it here to my media library. I go ahead and tap on it. I wanna create post for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap create post there at the bottom. You can see it's set to auto publish to Instagram. I can type my caption down here. You can also edit the photo on this screen here if you need to. You can tag the location again, just like we did in Buffer. And if you want to on this one, you can actually tag other users. So for example, I could tag myself in this photo. Just so you know, it is against Instagram terms to tag anybody in a photo that's not actually in the photo. They don't want people spamming that way. But you can tag yourself in the photo. If you have other people in the photo, it's a great way to notify them. That way they can share it to their Instagram story or something if they wanted to. And then if you are adding hashtags at the bottom of your post, it actually has a hashtag counter down here. So if I did social media, entrepreneur, and now you see it shows two hashtags down there, and that's because you have a limit of 30, so that way it'll keep track, especially if you paste a bunch in from another document. Once everything is set the way you want it, you can go ahead and tap next. Oh, and there I got that warning that it's too wide or too tall. So again, I'm gonna hit that edit sign because I pulled it right off of there. It has the same editing tool here that we saw before. I'm gonna choose four to five, put it exactly where I want it. Hit done. Now we try and hit next again. And it says automatically publish your post or post now. So I'm gonna go ahead and of course say pick a time. Wednesday, this one makes you choose on the fives, but that's okay. <laughs> Set time and that's it. It is ready to go and it'll automatically go up at that time. Now remember, this automatically publishing only works as of this recording for photos and videos. If you wanna do a carousel post where you swipe through the different images, that you have to upload manually, or you can use the programs we showed you and they'll send a notification to your phone and then you can upload them at the appropriate time. So it's sort of like halfway scheduling them ahead of time. All right, wanna schedule your Instagram stories? There's a great tool for that and I've got a link to it in the description of this video. So check that out. Otherwise, if this was helpful, give this video a like, hit subscribe. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.